In the history of science, the etymology of the word chemistry is debatable. It is agreed that the word derives from the word alchemy, which is a European one, derived from kimiya kimia and alchemy al -kimi. alchemy. The Arabic term is derived from the ancient Greek kimia kimia or kimia kimia. However, the ultimate origin of the root word, chem, is uncertain. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, al kimi is derived from kimia, which is derived from the ancient Egyptian name of Egypt, chem or khm, kame, or khmi, meaning, blackness. Therefore, alchemy is the black art. However, it is also possible that alchemy derived from kimi, meaning, cast together. Overview There are two main views on the derivation of the word, which agree in holding that it has an Arabic descent, the prefix al being the Arabic article. But according to one, the second part of the word comes from the Greek kimir, pouring, infusion, used in connection with the study of the juices of plants, and thence extended to chemical manipulations in general. This derivation accounts for the old fashioned spellings, chimist, and Chemistry. The other view traces it to chem or kame, hieroglyph khmi, which denotes black earth as opposed to barren sand, and occurs in Plutarch as chemia. On this derivation, alchemy is explained as meaning the Egyptian art. The first occurrence of the word is said to be in a treatise of Julius Firmicus, an astrological writer of the 4th century, but the prefix al there must be the addition of a later copyist. In English, Piers Plowman contains the phrase, "...experimentus of all economy", with variants, "...alkin mai", and "...alnami". The prefix al began to be dropped about the middle of the 16th century further details of which are given below. <inaudible> <inaudible> Egyptian origin According to the Egyptologist Wallace Budge, the Arabic word al kimiya actually means, the Egyptian science, borrowing from the Coptic word for Egypt kim, or its equivalent in the medieval Boharic dialect of Coptic, kim. This Coptic word derives from Demotic kami, itself from ancient Egyptian kmt. The ancient Egyptian word referred to both the country and the color, black. Egypt was the black land by contrast with the red land the surrounding desert so this etymology could also explain the nickname egyptian black arts however according to man this theory may be an example of folk etymology assuming an egyptian origin chemistry is defined as follows chemistry from the ancient egyptian word chemia meaning transmutation of earth, is the science of matter at the atomic to molecular scale, dealing primarily with collections of atoms, such as molecules, crystals, and metals, thus, according to Budge and others, chemistry derives from an Egyptian word chemane or chemia, preparation of black powder, ultimately derived from the name chem, Egypt. A decree of Diocletian, written about 300 AD in Greek, speaks against the ancient writings of the Egyptians, which treat of the chemia transmutation of gold and silver. <inaudible> <inaudible> Greek origin Arabic alchemia or alchemia, alchemia or alchemia, according to some, is thought to derive from the Koine Greek word chimere, chimere meaning, the art of alloying metals, alchemy. In the manuscripts, this word is also written kimir, kimir or kimir, chimir which is the probable basis of the Arabic form. According to Mann, the Greek word chimir kumir originally meant, pouring together, casting together, weld, alloy, etc. cf. gk, kian, chin, to pour, kuma, chim, that which is poured out, an ingot. Assuming a Greek origin, chemistry is defined as follows. Chemistry, from the Greek word chemir, chemir, meaning cast together or pour together, is the science of matter at the atomic to molecular scale, dealing primarily with collections of atoms, such as molecules, crystals, and metals. <laughs> from alchemy to chemistry Later medieval Latin had alchemia, alchemia. 
alchemy, alchemicus, alchemical, and alchemista, alchemist. The mineralogist and humanist Georg Agricola died 1555 was the first to drop the Arabic definite article al. In his Latin works from 1530 on he exclusively wrote chimia and chimista in describing activity that we today would characterize as chemical or alchemical. As a humanist, Agricola was intent on purifying words and returning them to their classical roots. He had no intent to make a semantic distinction between chimia and alchimia. During the later 16th century, Agricola's new coinage slowly propagated. It seems to have been adopted in most of the vernacular European languages following Conrad Gessner's adoption of it in his extremely popular pseudonymous work, Thesaurus Euonymi Filiatri de Remedis Secretus, Liber Physicus, Medicus, et Partum Etium Chimicus. Zurich 1552. Gessner's work was frequently republished in the second half of the 16th century in Latin and was also published in a number of vernacular European languages, with the word spelled without the al. In the 16th and 17th centuries in Europe, the forms alchemia and chimia and chimia were synonymous and interchangeable. The semantic distinction between a rational and practical science of chimia and an occult alchemia arose only in the early 18th century. In 16th, 17th, and early 18th century English, the spellings both with and without the al were usually with an i or y as in chimich, chimic, alchimic, alchemic. During the later 18th century, the spelling was refashioned to use a letter e, as in chemic in English. In English after the spelling shifted from chimical to chemical, there was corresponding shift from alchemical to alchemical, which occurred in the early 19th century. In French, Italian, Spanish and Russian today it continues to be spelled with an I as in for example Italian chimica chemistry. See also History of chemistry History of science History of thermodynamics List of Arabic loanwords in English List of chemical element name etymologies <laughs>